Good day, everybody. Welcome to Abifas and Co. Farm. This is where we use for our seminar. This is a little ash box we use for seminar in order to show people that want to look at how the ashing box look like. For example, this is the ashing box. It has a cover. It has a cover. By this side, we have a window. A little window there. And by the other side there also, we have another window. This window will allow air to pass through from the from the first side to the second side, which will cause a what a cross ventilation cage. In this pen, it has a cover. After I dig the ground now, I put the egg inside, I cover it back, I will cover it and put the iron steel on it in order for water or for rain not to like to penetrate inside the ashing box. The reason why we separate this ashing box from the normal cage is this. Inside the normal cage, there is much water, slightly much water. But for you to ash your egg, the water must not be much. So that's why you must have the ashing box in order for you to put there. And you can see, this is the egg and you, have, and you can see a spoon in my hand. It means you must not touch the egg with your hand. Once you touch it, it means the egg will not hash. So please and please, whenever you want to take the egg from the cage, I don't want to put it in your action box. You must not, you must not put your hand. You must not touch the head. Everything you want to do, try to do it with spoon. Now, as you can see, the action box it is somewhat dry. I mean, the 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 sand. The reason why it is sand is this. Every three three days, that is once in three days, you must put. Once in three days, you will just wet it slightly with water once in three days but if the, if there's much water in it it means that instead of instead for the egg to ash within 21 days it may prolong to 40 days it may prolong to 50 days and so on and so forth but in order for you to have aqua between 21 days or before 21 days make sure the ground is slightly wet and wet it once in three days now i have 15 hair gear that i want to bury now that we want to incubate and after the after incubating it i will put a tag on it i will write it there and after 15 after 21 days i will do another video for you to see how the egg turned to snail now as we can see that's what i want to do i want to dig the ground so i'm digging this side now The digging must not be too deep and all the egg must be covered. You can see me putting the egg inside the ground. So as you can see, I put everything together, and this is how everything is going to hatch and come out on their own. Now, after putting in there, the next thing you need to do is for you to cover the head. Now, for you to know where you bury the head, that's why I'm, I'm putting that. As you can see, it, it did not pass this case. That's where I buried I buried the head. So next thing I'm going to do now is this: I'm going to take a book, a pen to write the date of incubation and the expected date of of seeing the snail today is Wednesday where is the 10th of April 11th of April so today is the day of incubation now 11 plus 21 that's so as you can see where's the 11th of april is the incubating betting date so 11th plus 21 days will be where's the second of may 
is the expected date. So that means by 2nd of May, we should expect snow to be inside this box. So after this, I will cut this and put it on that place because by tomorrow again i'm going to like beg another one so that one will be so that one will not allow me to go and dig where i've buried some snail i've been some egg before so i'll put it on it like this so anytime i want to wait i will just remove it and put and wait after that i'll put it back there again now let me show you slightly wet that i mean Now, as you can see, I said slightly wet. See how I'm going to wet it? Slightly. So with this, I will not wet it again until after three days. So we put back the tag on the place. Thank you.